looking at proportions in similar triangles classwork. Okay, we want to find out if we are given, this is a rule, if we are given we've got a triangle which is separated by two, we've got two triangles separated by two parallel lines. These sides are proportional to each other. So 6 over 8 does equal 5 over x. Okay, they're proportional to each other. So 6 times x is 6x. Six 8 times 5 is 40. Divide both sides by 6 and x equals 40 divided by 6 is 6 and 2 thirds. Or 6.667, either one. All right, so for B is just a little bit different than we, what we talked about. We're going to go 20 over this whole length. So we go 20 over not 25, but 25 plus 20, so 45, equals X over 50. And I added these two together to give me 45 because this length was like that. So we cross multiply, we go 20 times 50. Gives me 1,000 equals 45x, and we take 1,000 divided by 45, and we get x equals 22.22. Questions? Okay, we're going to skip down to A. We want to see if B, C, and D, E are parallel to each other. So we're going to see if these are proportion. Is 3 over 4 the same as 3.75 over 5? Again, you can reduce them all the way, or you put them into your calculator and just divide. So 3 divided by 4 is 75, and 3.75 divided by 5 is 75. So yes, BC is parallel to DE. So you're literally just seeing if they're proportional to each other. And if they are, they're parallel. So like for B, we're going to go 7 divided by 2. Is that equal to 8 divided by 3? So 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. And 8 divided by 3 is 2.667. So no, not parallel. You can put no or not parallel, either one. Okay, let's turn this over. Look at the back. Okay, we want to know, we want to find X. We're given that BC over DC equals AC over EC. So we're going to replace these with numbers. So B to C is going to be 10 minus X. Does that make sense? B to D is 10. We want to get rid of this X. So we're going to go 10 minus X. D to C is just X. A to C is 8. E to C is 4. And now we're going to cross multiply. 8 times X is 8X. 4 times 10 minus X is 40 minus 4X. So you could have gone 4 times 10 minus X, but I just distributed as I went. Now we're going to get all the X's on one side, so I'm going to add 4X to both sides. And I get 12x equals 40. And then 40 divided by 12 gives me x equals 3 and 1 third, or 3.3 repeating. Okay. Why don't you guys right now try b on your own? ab over bc equals fe over ed. Just fill those things in. Try it right now. Try B. Plug in the numbers or letters. What you got.
We ready? Okay. AB is 2, BC is 5, FE is X, and ED is 8. So we're going to cross multiply. 2 times 8 is 16 equals 5X. Divide both sides by 5. X equals 3 and 1 fifth. Or what's the decimal equivalent to that? 16 divided by 5 is, say it again, 3.2. Either one. Okay, let's skip down to the bottom. We're going to find X. We're doing this the same way. So CD is 3. AB is X. AB is still X. And EF is 27. Okay. So 3 times 27 is 81. Yep. And what's X times X, guys? X squared, not 2X, right? X squared. How do I get rid of an X squared? So what is X equal? 9. It could also be negative 9, but we usually don't have negative answers for lengths. Okay. Why don't you guys try E right now, and then we'll talk about the homework. Okay, what'd you guys get for AB? Nine, what'd you get for AD? What'd you get for AD? And what'd you get for CD? Nine times one is? Nine, X times X is? How do you get X by itself? And so what is X equal? Or negative three, but we usually don't have negative links. Okay. Let's look at the homework. I'm going to do um, probably two problems from here just to make sure we've got it. All right. Number one. Uh, let's not do number one. Let's do... Okay, let's look at number four. Okay. These two are similar to each other because they have two angles in common. So we're going to make a similarity statement. The big thing that I want you to know how to do is a similarity statement. It's like a congruency statement, except it's similar. So J triangle JKL is similar. See how it doesn't have an equal sign under it, but just a little squiggle? That means similar. Two triangle, T goes with J, U goes with K, and V goes with L. See how these had to line up because they matched each other? Okay, that's a similarity statement. So you're going to figure out if they're similar and then make a similarity statement for them. You say not similar, yeah. Okay, let's turn it over. All of these are the same until we find the missing length for these. These are just like what we just did for all the notes. You're just setting them up. For example, if we were to look at number 14, I would say like 18 over 9 equals 22 over x, and then I would cross multiply. Okay? And I did 18 because this side did this whole length, so I needed to do this whole length on that side. All right, you got the rest of the hour to work on this, so that's lots of time. If you have questions, please let me know.